Welcome to Quick Fire Questions. We've just done a segment with Craig, uh, and obviously with yourself, Steve, you've scored 21 goals for the club. Uh, so we've prepared 21 Quick Fire Questions for you. We'll get straight into it. Sure, thanks. Favourite meal? I've got two. So when we go out for a, a meal at a restaurant, it's always a burger. And then I love curry night at home. Um, so yeah, them two. You making that on the missus? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm the chef. And I'm <laughs> <it. laughs> uh, Favourite drink? Alcoholic or both? Um, alcoholic. I'm I'm a beer man, so I'm going to say Australia. Um, or beer array, but yeah, Australia's Australia's the top one. But then Red Bull always. Uh, yeah. Not alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, Go to karaoke song. Got a couple actually. So Robbie Williams' "Angels" is what I'm known for, and I sang <laughs> it at the uh, end of season two a few weeks ago actually. And um, I love a bit of "Suspicious Minds" by Elvis. <laughs> Yeah, gets the crowd. The bangers, yeah. crowd pleasers. Uh, holiday destination? Um, Florida. Uh, the first football kit you ever owned? I um, Maybe an Everton kit, but from what I remember, um, was the England, it must have been 02, when it was like the red cross on the sleeve, oh, and yeah. Beckham on the back with the collar up. Yeah, <laughs> uh, what annoys you most? Evan. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Um, what annoys me most? Probably, I know a big one is people being late and not saying sorry. I don't mind if you're late, but just come and say sorry. But also, not taking ownership. I'm okay. not pointing anyone out or singling anyone out, but specifically keepers. If they, if they mess up, put your hands up and say sorry. Fair enough. Uh, a favourite sport beside football? Although I'm rubbish at it, I love golf. love watching it, I love playing it. Uh, the funniest player in the dressing room? Um, player? Um, there's not many, to be fair. Um, Steve Riding this year has uh, oh, surprised okay. me, just with his quick one-liners. People say Charlie, but you can't really say he's funny if you're just laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have a pre-match ritual? Uh, yeah, and Doyle seems to tell everyone about this. So <laughs> All the players, like when we go on an away day, they all go and have their you know, pastas or whatever, like a couple of hours before kickoff. I have to eat five or six hours before kickoff. Four or five, yeah. six hours before kickoff, yeah. And I'll have a Red Bull about five hours before kickoff as well. It's, it's all it's all worn off by the time I've Have you always done that? Or is that quite a relatively yeah, yeah. new thing? I always. mean, not only since I was, well, maybe like 15 or something, yeah. Okay. Uh, best piece of advice you've ever received? This too shall pass. Who has the worst dress sense in the squad? Again, there's a few. Um, Mikey is up there, just okay. because there'll be a black tie event, and Mike could come in, black <laughs> jeans and a black shirt, to show everyone just barbed wire tattoos, and, and then you've got Fiora PE clothes, PE t <laughs> uh, Favourite topping on a pizza? Uh, spicy chicken, especially home run spicy chicken. Uh, best goal you've ever scored? Um, probably the one last year, just because everyone's seen it and they'll know. Halfway line, yeah. <clears throat> There's been a few, but that's probably the top one, yeah. That's a good one. Uh, best trainer in the squad. I tell you, the worst trainer is. <laughs> uh, best trainer probably Doyle is good. Um, Jacob, Mikey as well, and then maybe Penny's come in and he's he's a good trainer as well. So who's the worst? McVeigh, without a doubt. <laughs> as soon as there's a break, he's straight in the dugout, <laughs> sat down, coat on. <laughs> um, yeah, he's 100% the worst. Uh, your favourite footballer growing up? Ronaldinho. I think that was everyone. That's our, that's our generation, yeah, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, night in or a night out? 100% night in. I'm an old man now. Proper dad, as everyone keeps talking <laughs> uh, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. What professional derby would you love to play in? Being a blue nose, probably the Everton Liverpool Merseyside derby. It's on your bucket list to do. So obviously I alluded before, Florida is my favourite holiday destination, but my wife Jess, my daughter Gabby, haven't been to Florida, so I'd love to take them and do it for like. I think Paul Jones is actually there this week, so yeah, basically that. So, and then finally, your ambitions for FC Alman as a club. In the short term, get promoted to the to obviously the next the next league above. But in the long term, um, get a player in the football league. Luke Murray's got the everything, the ability, the height, the strength, 
the physique, the attitude. So, and he's only and the age as well. He's mm-hmm. only like still a baby. He's <coughs> twenty two, and he he's probably one that could, if not, should definitely be picked up. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Thanks.